Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to create a floating sphere in Photoshop. All right, first step, select your image that you want to distort. And I'm going to create a new copy of the layer. So I'm going to drag and drop to the little plus. And let's go here to the shape tool, rectangle tool. And I'm going to select the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift. Create a circle like so. Let's go to the layers, uncheck the circle and click here on this layer on the copy which you made. And now press and hold control and click on the sphere thumbnail. So it's going to select, you know, the circle. From here, we're going to go to the filter, distort and click on the sphere eyes. As you can see, it's on 100%, 100%. So go to 100% and click OK. You're gonna press Control D so it dis deselect it. You're gonna show it something like this. And from here, I'm gonna press and hold Control again and go to the sphere and click on the thumbnail. So it's gonna highlight it again. And now we're gonna need to invert the selection. So you go to Select and click on Invert. And from here, press Delete. Press Ctrl D. So as you can see, if I uncheck this original layer, you're gonna remain with this distortion. Click on this layer, click on the little plus, so we created a new layer. Press and hold I, select a dark color from here, you can go with black. Select the brush, which is located right here. I'm gonna decrease the brush size a little, like so. I'm gonna click. This way it highlights, you know, the sphere even better because now it's a shadow under it. Now click on the sphere basically which we, you know, cut out. Now we're going to create a new layer here and I'm going to select the white color. Now press and hold control again, click on the sphere's thumbnail again. So now it's selected. So on this empty layer, we're going to paint the white with brush. So select the brush. This is the brush. I'm going to decrease the size and I'm going to make white this area and this area. From here, I'm going to press Ctrl D so I deselect it. And I'm going to choose from the blends soft light. Now it's highlighted even more. I'm going to decrease a little bit from the opacity. And now we have a legit sphere floating into the sky, which looks pretty science fictional. So yeah, this was it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a good one. Bye bye.